Wairarapa. It's famous for its wild coast and down-to-earth people. But the Wairarapa electorate includes parts of Manawatu and Central Hawke's Bay. The electorate boundary runs in from the Central Hawke's Bay coast to include Waipukuro. It follows the Central Range south to include Dannyburg, Pahiotua, Eka Tahuna, Masterton, Carterton, Featherston and Martinborough. Over the years, the electorate has switched between Labour and National. So what makes the voters of Wairarapa tick? It has more Māori and Pākehā than the rest of New Zealand, but lacks other ethnicities. But they're there. In Martinborough's wine country, the most common language spoken after English is French. Primary industry is key, with three times the national average employed in farming, forestry and fishing. I think it's a very stable area. People tend to to live here and stay here. Um, and on the farms, the farms are handed down from generation to generation. The farmers really have a backbone of the electorate. While its farming background is strong and so far coping well post-COVID, it has seen a lot of newcomers. In South Wairarapa, the number of residents commuting to Wellington has grown since the last election. And in the north, many former commuters from Palmerston North have decided to settle in Tararua district. It could be possibly a big surprise, you know, to election result. Um, there's all these newcomers that have come, that have come in, so it's just sort of be, be a wait and see, I think. The incumbent MP, the National Party's Alastair Scott, is resigning after two terms. His replacement is farmer and lobbyist Mike Butterick, who will seek to defend National's winning majority of 2,872 in the last election. When second place went to the then newcomer Karen McAnulty for Labour. He is now a List MP and standing again for the electorate. New Zealand First List MP and Defence Minister Ron Mark is seeking the seat, with the Green Party also fielding a strong candidate with former Wellington Mayor Celia Wade-Brown. A fifth candidate is ex Roger Greenslade. Carl says Wairarapa can't lose when it comes to representation, with the top three candidates all having very strong ties to Wairarapa. In, in the Wairarapa electorate, we are provincial New Zealand, and we want people to represent us in Parliament who know how our electorates work. And here's three, three prime candidates who have got the first-hand experience of living in our communities they, they know what we want. Provincial in geography, but not provincial in outlook. In 1999, Wairarapa chose the world's first openly transgender member of parliament, Labour's Georgina Bayer, proving anything can happen in Wairarapa. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.